All right, sorry this video is kind of late. I had a good thing going. I had them going up really early and then just fucked it up. But today's video, I'm talking about something that could have been easily avoided if I wasn't such an idiot. But it all starts like this, okay? A few months back, I'm hanging out with some people that are very, very nice people. But they're just those kind of people where they're in that mindset where it's like you only live once, do whatever you can do. And that's not a bad mindset to have. Like, by all means, fucking go out and do whatever you want. But... When it involves this, this is just when it gets bad. I was hanging out with my friends one night, driving around super late at night, and my friends are like, hey, let's go on this school campus after hours onto the field, and let's play some nighttime frisbee between all of us. And already that's pretty stupid because playing frisbee at nighttime is pointless because, you know, it's hard to see, but they want to do it. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm in your car. Let's do it. Let's go. We went out there. We get to the fucking school. We sneak on to the campus, which is just not good already. Don't fucking do this. Don't be me. And the worst part about this is, is I've done this before. I've went on to school campuses late at night, and we've gotten in some serious trouble for this shit, so just don't do this. But when we got there and we started playing Frisbee, that wasn't the issue, okay? Like, there were some lights on so we could see, but it was still kind of hard. But we saw that one of the school doors was open, and we're guessing it's because of a janitor or something. And we were playing Frisbee pretty much uninterrupted, so, like, that wasn't the problem. But when we saw that this door was open, one of my friends was like, yo, you want to go inside the school? And I was immediately like, I don't know, dude, that's pretty stupid. Like, you know, going inside of school, especially after hours, fuck that. And then my one friend's like, dude, you're being a pussy. Come on, let's just go in one lap. I just want to see my old locker because he used to go to the school. He's like, I want to see my old locker. I want to see if anything's changed. And I was like, all right, dude, whatever. Like one lap, fine, because it's like a square. So you just lap it. And we went in. My friend's walking around the fucking hallway, dim, dim lit hallway, could barely see anything. And I shit you not, we were in this building for literally five minutes. We were walking, we didn't even make it to his locker. Pretty fucking stupid that late at night he had that much of an obsession with his old locker that he wanted to see it. I can kind of understand like bringing back that nostalgia feeling, but it's a fucking locker, it's not that important. But anyway, we were in there for five fucking minutes. We walked by a room and the janitor was in that room cleaning. We didn't see him, he saw us. He jumped out in the hallway. And then proceeded to chase us. Not nicely be like, hey, leave, you're trespassing. Or, hey, why the fuck are you in here? Get out. But no, chase us. And we got chased all the way back to where we came in. So we ran out of there. We were in the parking lot at this point. We ran all the way back to the field where the frisbee was. And we were just sitting there. Like, holy fuck. And when we ran out of the school, the janitor just stopped chasing us completely. The minute we were all outside, he just shut the door and went back in. And we thought, you know, that's it. Game over, right? The janitor just didn't want us in the building. He chased us out. He got what he wanted. We will never fucking do that again, right? We're sitting in the field. We went all the way back to where the frisbee was. And we're just sitting there, right? Like, all in a line. Just like, holy shit, that was really, really scary. Like, that janitor is fucking crazy. And we start hearing a noise coming out from behind us. And I guess the janitor had some fucking connections, man, because he went inside and he called fucking backup. Now, I don't mean, like, cops or anything, but the school security... They came rolling up behind us in a fucking golf cart, and I didn't notice until they were literally like a few fucking feet behind us, and all my friends jumped up to get out of the way, and my friend had to literally pull me by the shoulder because I didn't realize it, and I turned around, and I just see fucking lights in my face, like a few feet away about to hit me. And if my friend wasn't there, I don't know why I'd be there alone, obviously, but if my one friend wasn't there, I would have literally probably got hit by a fucking golf cart, and he pulled me out of the way because he's a beast. And we start running, okay? And this whole time, I'm just thinking in my head, like, why? Why? Just why me? Why does this always happen to me? Why am I always put in these fucking situations? But I am running my ass off, okay? I'm not that fast, but I'm going hard, okay? I'm just trying to get the fuck out of there. And while we're running, my one friend who's kind of leading is just like, yo, let's stop and talk to them. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, dude, they tried to fucking run me over. I don't know if I want to talk to them, but okay. Now my friend stops and puts his hands up, you know, to signal like, hey, slow down, let's talk. And we keep kind of going. We're not running, but we're like fast walking while he stops. And they're not slowing down. They tried to fucking hit my friend too. They didn't even want us out of the school. They just wanted us to get hit by a fucking golf cart apparently. And my friend, he got so close. Like they were coming at him. He didn't move because he thought they were going to stop. They didn't fucking stop. They literally got so close. My friend had to dive out of the way because they were going to hit him. And when he dove out of the way, they just kept fucking going full speed at us. Now they were coming at us. My friend was on the ground. He got up really quick and started running back towards us. And we just at this point took off. We were like, all right, there's no fucking negotiating with these people. We can't even talk to them to say sorry. Like they just want to fucking hit us with a golf cart and hurt us. So let's keep running. And we ran all the way to the forest, went in there. And when we went in there, obviously, they couldn't take the fucking golf cart back there. So I think they tried to get out on foot 
I don't know. We were running so fast that we were pretty much out of there. But we looped around and came back to the parking lot. We all jumped in my friend's car and just sped out of there. And when we were leaving the school, we actually saw one of the security like squad cars. Not the golf cart, but it was like a squad car pulling up into the parking lot from like the back of the school. And we were like, oh, we got out of there in fucking time. But yeah, we got out of there. That was pretty much the end. Didn't really go there to do anything fucked up. So like before you leave that comment being like, you're a scumbag. We didn't really try and, like, do any harm. We just, like, played Frisbee. And then my dumbass friend who wanted to see his stupid old locker because he used to go there uh, wanted to go inside. And then Angry Chandler and Angry Golf Cart Squad came at us. And it was a fucking horrible, scary-ass time. But, hey, makes for a good story. So, <laughs> nevertheless, I hope you guys did enjoy the story today. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Feel free to leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.